Hey, it's Chris Leisure Games. I don't think I've ever been as nervous filming a video right now. My heart is like pumping in my chest. We're gonna be doing an unboxing, revealing, pack opening of Star Wars Unlimited. And a little bit of ramble, a little bit of rant, and a little bit of, well, regret along the way. As you can see here, two booster boxes and two pre-release kits. So what am I gonna get? Am I gonna pull anything really good? Am I going to get anything that is going to recoup any of my money or am I just gonna get washed out like usual? Well, you ready? Let's go. So you can see here, just at the beginning of this video, right? These are sealed still. I haven't even ripped off the plastic. And then these two pre-release kits. And in case you're wondering, right, like uh, each of these boxes has 24 packs in them, each having, I believe, 16 cards. And they all have either like a legendary or rare in them, and they all have a bunch of commons, uncommons, bases, leaders, showcase cards, which are your full arts, your hyperspace legendary foils, and you know, pretty little colors along the whole side of things. And the pre release kits are basically just extra pre release promo cards and six booster cacks, along with just sort of your deck building guide dividers, the little, you know, stuff like that. But the reason why we have two of these, in case you're wondering, is that people said, people said, people have been saying that the pulls on these are not necessarily in proportion to what the pulls are in the boxes. You know, they pretty much say, okay, well, there's one of these showcase cards per six boxes or something like that, right? The, the super ultra selling for a couple hundred dollars worth of cards. And then these, uh, the legendaries are higher rate again, on average, than what these are. So that's why we decided to go with two of these and two of these. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous because if you're like me, you don't have very good luck, <laughs> right? I have horrible luck, horrible luck. I was great actually as a kid. Star Wars Decipher was the previous game that I had. And you know what, let's just, let's just do it. We'll move these, we'll move these to the side a second here. We'll have them sitting right here next to us. But what we'll do here, we won't lose them. We'll set them right next to the side, but we'll pull this open, get this open, we'll get this going because I mean, you wanna, this is why you're tuning in, right? So you can see, okay, we got this stuff, you know, it's just kind of got this stuff going along in here and here are your booster packs. And if I can get them out without like screwing things up and uh, a little bit of everybody. Okay, Three, two of each of the six of these on the pack fronts. And then, you know, obviously this is sort of like your starter kit and your little tokens to keep track and your quick start rules, which is fine. And then your little pre-release deck, how you build it. And then a little container. So really this container is half the freaking that's a waste. But now I can at least do two decks and, you know, again, ooh, these are the promo cards. Uh, so we'll toss this box aside. No boxes, cards, or packages were terribly hurt in the making of this. So let's blow this up here for a second. And so these are the promo cards, I think, to go along with this. Every one of these gets a Darth Vader and a Luke Skywalker that is just, you know, going along with the pre-release kits. So if you bought it, you got it. So, I mean, again, at least you have a Luke and a Vader. And we'll throw some trash down here. And we'll just kind of start seeing. Okay, so first up, we have your Chewbacca's right here, right? So, I, I don't know. Chewbacca, I was never a big fan. I'm actually more interested in the Thrawn packs. Thrawn has always been my boy. If I, if I could pick one of these showcase cards, like Thrawn would probably be the one that I would be interested in. Uh, a Chirrut uh, leader card. I don't know anything about these, by the way. Although I think that that little shiny part at the bottom card here, uh, I got a base here of the Death Star Command Center, Recruit, Wilderness Frontier. Again, these are all commons down at the bottom. You can kind of see uh, Infiltrator Skill, Waylay, Syndicate Lackeys, Age... Argent, Ardent Sympathizer, the Force is with me, so that goes with my uh, Chirrut here, Pirated Starfighter, uh, Overwhelming Barrage, Seventh Sister, ooh, that's another Legendary, and then Protector here, you get one of these foils every single pack, so you can kind of see, that. so that is my two right there, so I got the Legendary right there, and then the Legendary right there from uh, that one, so again, not a bad start, I'd say, as in having a leader here. So we'll set that aside. We'll go, you know what? Let's just stay with the Chewbacca's here. Let's stay with Chewbacca. Let's go on a Chewbacca run. Like a Kessel run, only worse. Bad pun, I'm sorry. Uh, so, okay, I got another leader here, IG-88. And then we have Dagobah Swamp as my area. Sympathizer, training, moment of peace. Again, you know, I like the art on this stuff. I actually really enjoy this. I know a lot of people were criticizing this and saying that they didn't enjoy it but I kind of like the alternative art because I was never a big fan of the pictures and stills from videos. So Traitorous is my legendary there. 
and then uh, Academy Defense Walker. Again, just a common one that's got foil there. So not as good, probably. And again, I don't have a clue necessarily. I haven't been watching one of those things and saying which one of these legendaries or super rares or rares are the most valuable. Like I'm in this to play this. I have a two player starter kit coming as well, just to get it out of the box. Uh, there's a Sabine. So they say that she's gonna be one of the best leaders right now. Her and Boba Fett or her and Vader are kind of the ones to go to from what I've heard. So again, another Death Star Command Center there. Uh, you've got all your usuals here, Death Trooper, Wampa. I mean, I just I just like this. I just like this art. It's kind of cool. Super Laser Technician, X-Wing Alliance, Disarm, Viper Probe, Bounty Crew, Fighter for Freedom, Devotion, Bamboozle, K2SO, and then a Snowspeeder. So I'm, I'm kind of blanking out so far on the legendary foils. I'm getting all the foils that aren't legendary, so that's okay. But it would be nice to kind of get some of the others. But, you know, again, like I said, I have bad luck. And we'll kind of restack these so we have the legendaries and the foils at least sitting on top. So I can go back to them later and just kind of have them available from that aspect of things. So uh, where'd the foil go from this one? Did I stack it? Oh, I just missed it there on the table. Okay. So, okay. So nothing, nothing terribly exciting so far. I told you I was very trepidatious about doing this. So I'm probably going to get nothing good in any of these packs. And, you know, I saw someone talking about they were going infinite mode uh, earlier today on Facebook, where basically what they do is they decide to just open and sell and open and sell until their opening no longer pays for more of their selling. So, ooh, Administrator's Tower. That's kind of a cool little full artwork. Is that a full artwork comparatively? I don't really know. Let's check here for a second. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. That is, you can see the difference there in the artwork. So I don't know if that's anything valuable or anything worthwhile, but I like it and nonetheless. And then again, moment of peace. We have a couple of these other ones. Gladiator, Star Destroyer. Again, I don't know the meta even on this stuff because you're going to need some of these commons and these uncommons. So who knows at this point, Agent Callus is my legendary. And then uh, Greedo, again, kind of a cool card, but again, a common rarity. So uh, nothing terribly interesting. Well, again, we'll put these two up at the top. And again, I'll have to look up that full art to see if that's anything of value in terms of just the thing, because who knows, right? Full art is kind of cool, and this is going to start stacking up the trash here. So uh, another Chirrut. So I'm going to end up with a lot of these similar overlapping leaders, right? And that's going to be more of the issue is how many of these do you need of the same? So that's why I didn't buy like a ton of this stuff, but I still bought way too much as it is. Relentless and an escort shift skiff so okay so again just getting similar 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 hopefully i get a couple other leaders here to go along with it not that again i care too much about my leaders because i'm not gonna well i'm gonna met, meta deck deck meta i'm gonna deck build off of line because i'm not gonna good deck builder so so far i've gotten in four six packs i've gotten two chewbacca's and two cheroots so again a little full art card there and then we skip back to the back here and we start to see, okay, I've got a few other cards here that not all duplicates in the commons and uncommons, another full art there. So those full arts must be just completely random. Black one and Bosk. Okay, black one and Bosk. So there we go. That is the starter set to begin with. So uh, let me reorganize this. I'm going to pull the legendaries out, a little camera magic here, and then we're going to go into, you know, let's go in one of the boxes, the boosters. And I just kind of like having Darth and Luke just sitting in the background here. Uh, kids, don't try this at home. Uh, again, sealed here. We'll use the knife, find a good side here, slice her open. That'd be really embarrassing, slicing myself open on camera. Uh, bleeding everywhere. Those are freaking sharp knives. You know, my wife bought these knives. Like, they're just too sharp. They're just too sharp, if you know what I'm talking about. You ever had those in your house where you're like, um, I feel like if I even just pick this up, I'm going to risk cutting myself and just hurting myself from that aspect. So again, just rip her open and see what we got. Now, are there any other labels here or are we just going with all of the chewbacca leia thrawn yeah they're all chewbacca leia thrawn so um okay let's see what we got going on here we'll move luke and vader out of the way we'll move them to the side here and i kind of just want to flip to the back and the front right every time like the rest of it's all just kind of whatever uh oh there's a leia so i got a leia got an echo starbase there and then troopers uh ship 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 ships Ooh, bays so bays and then, oh, I got a Palpatine. I got a Palpatine right there. And then Power of the Dark Side. Well, that's nice that they're kind of together. So I don't know what that means, but Palpatine is kind of cool. Now the showcase cards. So like what happens with the showcase cards is that like it has like a special rim and then you like flip it over 
and it's got like a completely other like art side. So uh, Palpatine's pretty good though, from what I've heard. So I'm actually relatively pleased with that first pack uh, from the booster box. So that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like that. So, well, that's a halfway decent start, right? But they say um, that showcases, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, are something along the lines of one every like six boxes. And so like that's one case. So again, we have an IG-88 and Administrator's Tower. So we'll put those there. And then let's see what else we got going here. A couple other, ooh, time, Imperial Interceptor. Like, that's just cool. Like, you don't see a lot of the other stuff now. I wish they did the um, Legends, not just stay in canon, but we'll see if they do that in the future. Yoda. Yoda's not actually a rare. Uh, and then what do we got here? Jedi Lightsaber. And again, Disabling Fang Fighter. So nothing going on there too. But Jedi Lightsaber, I heard the lightsabers are pretty good. So those are our three from that pack. So we'll grab another pack here, we'll go with the Thrawn, and I apologize, it's actually the lower left-hand corner uh, that is the actual symbol of that, I just completely mixed that up, but again, we got a Chewbacca here as a leader, uh, Command Center there as our base, and then a couple of these others, and it's the, the symbol right down here in this very lower-hand corner, which is really even hard to see on this camera. So we skip to the back here, Lieutenant Childsen, so okay, and then the Legion there, which is a yellow one, which I believe is the rare, the Empire's Legion. And then we had an Ezra Bridger there that was upside down somehow. Okay. And Ezra Bridger, that's kind of cool. Now it makes me actually want to go back through and look through these a second to see which ones are legendaries, but it's almost like hard to tell with how small these are in the corner. Most of these look like they're rares when I'm looking back at, through them, but a few of these like black one are down in the corner here. It looks like blue. And so that's more of the legendary. So again, very hard to tell. I don't know why you have to make it so difficult. Just, you know, put a clear symbol on there. It doesn't have to be that hard. So again, the commons are the little like sort of bronze and then the uncommons are sort of the gray, uh, the yellow, I believe are the legendary and then the bluish are your, uh, or sorry, rare. And then your yellow are your yellow are rare blue are your legendaries. So, um, again, another Sabine. So, I mean, I guess I wish there were more leaders because you're going to get the same ones every single time in terms of that. So Death Troopers are cool. Wampas are cool. We've seen most of these Gamorrean Guards. ATST. Again, any showcase cards? Battlefield Marine. Here's the showcase card. And then what do we got? Force Choke. That's kind of cool. Uh, my my rare here is the Security Complex. So that's a rare base. And then uh, Academy Defense Walker is my foil. So, okay. Well, a rare base. That's not too bad. I kind of like the Force Choke though. Either that's going to go well with Vader or Palpatine. So at least I've got a little bit of combination there. And we can just kind of see. I kind of want, you know, I'm assuming like the showcase, like if I just pulled out the leader right here, it would pop up Boba Fett. There we go. There's our first Boba Fett. So at least I have a Boba Fett, a chopper base uh, there as well. Alliance X-Wing, again, uh, rinse and repeat, 7th Fleet Defender. Again, this is just kind of cool cards. I like seeing what they've done with this. And so this is only the first wave too. Uh, hard point heavy blaster bail or Ghana. There we go as my rare and then ooh, we have a rare foil here smoke and cinders Okay, so uh, we got a couple things there. We got we got a boba though. We got a boba boba fed alert at the beginning here um, That's kind of cool. We got a boba fat and I'm not too displeased with this But it'd be nice like their special special full art showcases and what people are really paying for is the special art showcases Like that are like foils along those lines because you can get it like that too. I think so it's just, just crazy combinations of things to make you chase after it. Uh, here's a Palpatine. Oh, so we have a Palpatine now as a leader too. Uh, again, all these similar bases. And that's where you need some of the extra bases as the rare bases that you may not be getting in all of these packs. So uh, you may not be getting them fully. Uh, you know, that looks like a showcase card there. Defeat a non-leader unit, Vanquish. That's a good card. And then Redemption, and Capital Ship. Don't get cocky as your rare card. And then again, this looks like another rare foil here. Uh, Surprise Strike. So... Attack with a unit gets plus three plus attack that turn. So, okay. Getting a, quite a variety though of the commons and the uncommons. So I didn't actually look at how many there were, but there's a fair like number of cards, like, I don't know, 250, 300 cards total. So what do we got leader wise? Oh, Grand Inquisitor. So now we're getting almost all the leaders. So we've seen most of them. I think there's one or two maybe that we don't have still. Snow speeders, the Star Destroyer there. We've already seen that Star Destroyer. We don't have the main Star Destroyers or the named ones yet. Uh, ISB agent, again, uh, the full one, the force is with me, uh, outmaneuver, Admiral Piat, Piat's not a rare, hmm, that's surprising, cunning is my, ooh, that's a legendary, cunning, do I already have a copy of that, I think I already have a copy of that, and then the escort skiff, again, 
it looks like that one is that actually a rare or is that no that's just a, a common or a co uncommon common i believe yeah cunning cunning's a good card i think actually so there we go again like tw 24 didn't seem like a whole lot but when you're sitting here opening them one by one and I guess maybe I should be faster in this. Uh, Jin, there's Jin as your leader. So Jin as the leader, then we have the base, and then we'll just skip to the back, right? That's what you want to see. Fetz Fire Spray. There we go, another rare, and then Rallying Cry, which again appears actually to be a legendary. A Rallying Cry legendary uh, foil there. Each unit gains raid two. So plus two when attacking. So that's kind of cool. Okay. So we're just going to do that a little quicker now so we get through a couple of these because, you know, again, hoping that you get a few more of those. But that's the real question, right? Like, how much do you need to actually build a deck? And are you ever better going with um, just the deck building online? So Guardian of the Wills, that's not a rare with the foil. And then Emperor's Royal Guard. Cool. Got the rare card to go along with him. And we got the Emperor ready. So that one's going to be your, your rare there. And then we have Krennic. So I think we have almost all the leaders now with Krennic. I'm not, again, I'm not really quite sure, but we have quite the variety as a whole. And we can just skim through these other ones. Guardian of the Wills right there. Okay, so we just saw that as a foil. Now we have it as a non-foil. And then that's about it. And I like the, just the, the coloration of these cards. It's just fantastic. Um, you know, again, they took a lot of criticism, sort of like the Dice Throne did. When Dice Throne did their latest crowdfunding, they're like, I don't like how the X-Men are presented. Another Chewbacca, uh, another base here, uh, Kestro City. And then what do we got at the back here? Maximum Firepower. Again, not a rare or a uh, legendary. And then Traitorous is the rare here. So I guess the rares are really easy to, to identify um, with the yellow. But talking a, a little bit about those other symbols, the blues and the like coppers and like the grays things, just not easy, even just sitting here with it in front of me. So, um, Jin Erso again, base again. Oops, put these cards in the wrong pile. I was trying to sort all these cards out from like, at least keeping like some of the bases separate and some of the commons, uncommon separate, but we'll kind of see how that goes. I mean, I should just set up the leaders too as a whole. Again, Guardian of the Wills, Reinforcement Walker. I mean, that's just kind of cool. I like that full art card. Uh, Jabba the Hot is my rare and Restock is my foil. So, Again, not very great on the foils. Foils have been pretty much across the board kind of crappy so far. Mostly the non-rare or non-legendary foils. So that kind of stinks. People are getting like the foils as Vader. Like there's a different Vader card than this one. And people are getting like that one as a foil and selling it. And people are buying it in mass because you can get like three of them in a deck or something. Or you want a deck stack. So Tarkin is your leader there. So we are getting close to, or not all have the leaders at this point. Uh, Devastator, there you go. And Bright Hope which actually, if I'm looking at this correctly, appears to be a legendary foil, Bright Hope. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And in case you're not familiar, like you play actually colors. So you play colors, not necessarily like dark side, light side in this game. And Devastator is a 10, 10, 10. 10 to get out, 10 attack, 10 defense. So it's a great card, but it's hard to get out because you only get so much energy and you're having to put down cards like face down like this in order to actually play them on a turn by turn basis. So if you put the card face down, you're using it as a resource but you don't get to uh, play it then in the game. So that's the balance of this game that you're trying to have to make. And again, I don't think it's doing anything terribly like super, super innovative yet, but people are rather excited by it. Hera, Hera Syndulla. Uh, Syndulla, I always forget how to pronounce her name. Oh, rare base. So Tarkin Town, deal three damage to a damaged non-leader unit. And then Green Squadron A-Wing. So again, not a great foil there as a whole, but again, another base here that we haven't really seen a lot of. Surgical droid, a uh, few troopers, and disarm. Again, just, I like the full art. Ghost. So we've seen Ghost a few times already, I think, in some of the singles. And we're getting about, like, two-thirds of the way through uh, box number one here. So we'll see. Ooh, gotta be careful. That one ripped a little sideways there. Boba Fett again. I should just set those leaders apart. Uh, here, you, know, you can see the difference between these art. It just looks better, right? You can just tell that that one just looks a little cooler overall. So... I like the full art cards. That's a nice addition. It's a chasing thing if you want anything else. Sneak attack as the rare. And this one, again, uh, Rook as, again, another rare here. A rare foil. So, foils are kind of nice. Kind of, you know, I could go either way with them. If you get something really cool foil, it makes it better. But it, otherwise, everything else it just kind of seems meh. If you're feeling what I'm putting down. Again, another Chewbacca there. Dagobah Swamp. Then we go back to the back here. Search your feelings. Again, as a rare. And then, ooh, Jetta Agitator. Oh, looks cool, but actually, I thought it was a Sith at first. But nope, just your foil there. So we'll foil. 
and then work with the that there and we'll just start separating those out a little bit more a little bit better uh just so that they're all not in one stack so you can you can't see it either way but that just starts to pile up and that's where we get through this first box here again another fet on catacombs of Kadera. and then skip to the back right that's the most interesting stuff for a cause i believe in again as a rare and then again isb agent which we've seen previously as a not rare at all so um okay we're, we're kind of just striking out here. Don't have many showcase cards. Don't have any of the big name characters in that side of things. So we'll see where we're going here. Whoa, what's that? Confiscate. That looks kind of cool, but it doesn't appear to be that rare or that good of a card. And then, oh, we got Red 3. So Red 3 is the rare in this one. Again, Red 3 is kind of cool. Uh, and then we have IG-88 and the Chopper Base. So those are the big ones uh, to go along with that. So again, is this Confiscate? I can't even tell. Again, like see like in this light? Um, it looks like confiscate is just a common, so or an uncommon. What else we got going on here? We have about like six packs left in this box, and then we'll pray for like better legendaries in the pre-release, other pre-release kit. Again, another Boba, another Degaba, Avenger. There we go. There's the other Star Destroyer that you can see right there. And then, ooh, Lando. Lando has to be a rare. So Lando is a rare. So. Again, like, I don't think any of these sell for anything. I mean, this is a legendary, so you can see the blue down there. It's a little easier to see, so the blue and the yellow differentiation there. Again, that's good, though. That's good. I'm happy with that. That's a great pack. That's a, probably one of the better packs I've had since the Palpatine pack, and that's was, like, what, the first pack of this box? That's 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 my luck right there, folks. Uh, will I turn it around? Probably not. Leia, Capital City, nice uh, full extended art card there. Um, I can see how this gets annoying if you have this many uh, land cards or base cards. Uh, Del Miko, I don't even know who that is, but he's a rare. And then Alliance Dispatcher as the foil. So I'm going to get those well suited, I guess. I'm learning even some new Star Wars extended. Like, I don't like the extended. I was I was reading the old books as a kid with the extended universe and the cool stuff. Uh, another Sabine there. Again, you can kind of see how it flips over to the backside. So still O for that. I won't get a showcase card. That's okay. Uh, Lieutenant Childson, we've seen that. He was earlier, and he was not the rare. And then uh, Frontline Shuttle is somehow a rare. Frontline Shuttle, like, what the deuce? Why would you have Frontline Shuttle as a rare? That doesn't seem... With all the other options and all the other availabilities out there, you're going to go like, hey, remember that one shuttle that made one appearance? Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Grand Inquisitor, uh, Full Art of Kestero, and let's see, Mission Briefing, again, not rare down here. And then Relentless. So we have what? Now we have the other. We have Devastator and we have Relentless. Or Avenger and Relentless uh, from that side. So not too bad. I guess I can stock up on my Star Destroyers, if nothing else. I think that's what people said. They got like one or two boxes and they ended up with like six of the Devastators in one box. Can you believe that? Can you imagine that if you were one of those people? That's the first Iden Versio that we've seen here. So I think I have all the leaders now. So let's see what else we got. Uh, Syndicate Lackeys, again, not a uh, good foil. And then Bombing Run. Bombing Run is another rare. Choose an arena, deal three damage to each unit in that arena. So, boom -ba -doom -ba -doom. getting to the tail end of this box. This box is now gone. We have two last packs that we're going to do here. So, let's see what we've got here. Two last packs. Tarkin. Okay. Tarkin. Land. Saw Guerrera. Again, rare. And then it looks like we've got, ooh, Han Solo foil rare. Okay. I mean, that might sell for something. I have no clue the values of these, but Han Solo foil rare, that has to be worth something there. Uh, so we'll kind of see what that looks like in the secondary market. Would I be able to recoup this box's cost? Probably not with anything in this box. You know, I've gotten no showcase cards, no great super legendary foils. Again, another two Tarkins in a row here at the end uh, as like the first ones. And then uh, strafing gunship and Bosk again. So Bosk is crappy. Uh, we're getting Bosk foiled. I think we have two boiled, <laughs> boiled Bosks, uh, Bosk foils. So that is it for that one as a whole. So now we'll go on to other starter kit. Again, like I feel horrible about this. Like this is just like the longer this goes on, the more regrets I have. So as I always say on the channel, don't do what I do, right? And so we'll skip the other stuff. You've seen it. It's going to have another Luke. It's going to have another Vader in there. And we've got six packs here to go along with it. So go with number one. And again, like they said, legendary pull rate on average seemed to be better on these pre-release kits. 
So that's why people were buying them up and snapping them up. Jawa, again, Jawa actually appears to be, nope, just kidding, uh, not a rare. And then Electro Staff is the rare there. So again, kind of uh, short suited and just, you know, they, at least they kind of put them all in the same. So you kind of feel like you know what you're looking for. At the same time, it makes it anticlimactic. Like there's not a whole lot of use of looking through the other cards right now because you're just looking for those ones at the beginning and the end. The rest are just kind of meh, right? So Cassian, oh, see, I told you, I, I don't even pay attention to how many leaders there are. So we're still being surprised after one whole box. And then a restored arc. Again, that's a foil, but it's not a rare. And then sneak attack. I feel like we have sneak attack. We got a copy of that earlier. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Okay. So right now, like, I, when was the last rare I got? I've had a bunch of, or when was the last legendary I got? I've gotten a bunch of rares, almost all rares exclusively now, but I haven't gotten, like, any legendaries. Wolf, and again, another non-rare, non-legendary uh, card there at the back foil. So again, I told you, I have horrible, horrible luck right now. Unless this second box is good. Like, I have so crappy rares and crappy just foils. So I'm kind of, well, self-fulfilling prophecy more than anything else, right? Tie Advanced, Distant Patroller. Okay, so I got another rare base. And that's my second rare base. And I got a foil red three. Well, great. I have two red threes now. Well, it's not really... I mean, it's a rare foil, so that's better than the non-rare foils that I've yeah, I got a huge stack of now, but it's not really any more enticing. So again, I've opened four of the six packs here in the pre-release kit, and I've gotten screwed so far. Chewbacca, again, whatever. Base, whatever. Gorilla Attack. Uh, make an opening. So again, non-rare, it looks like. And Galactic Ambition, uh, rare. So no legendaries so far. So the whole, uh, you get more legendaries in the pre-release kit. Well, small sample size, but my luck is suck. So take that for what you will. Then we have another Krennic, another base. And let's see, we have another base right there. Agent Callus is my rare and Snow Speeder is my foil. So again, I got shut out. No legendaries whatsoever in the pre-release kit. Uh, if I swore in videos, this might be one of those times where I would consider doing so because that's horrible. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. Uh, you know, how many cards in a row now have I gone without, or how many decks in a row have I gone without any rares whatsoever, or any legendaries whatsoever? I keep screwing up the uh, conditions of them. So, um, this is horrible. Like, and it's it's tricky too, because you're looking at these Facebook posts online when you're part of these groups, and people are like, I just pulled this out of this box. I got 17 legendaries out of these packs. And then you get like something like this, where you go, okay, well, that's another not rare. Um, okay, I got Boba Fett again. Um, so I got Boba Fett in the non-leader position, uh, which is good. If he was foiled, he'd be even better. So there's your legendary for this box. Just kidding. Uh, but probably, you know, so we'll see. But I mean, that's, I guess that's a good way to start the box as my first legendary since I just pulled the pre-release kit empty. But, um, that doesn't really make me happy either, right? Like it's a small pittance but it's not like super, super, I'm excited by this. Oh, there's a there's a rare U-Wing replacement. There's your rare foil. And then we have a Han Solo non-foil. So again, he's a rare. Like who the deuce decide, okay, you know, Han Solo, one of the main characters from the trilogy, the original trilogy, we're gonna make him a rare, not a legendary. Like what was the thought process behind that? Like why would you, why would you even do that? Again, some of the, the rarity in this sense, in this game makes no sense, right? Like some of the leaders, okay, I know you wanted to go a little bit out there, and I understand a few, but at the same time, again, there's your Boba Fett as your leader, Degaba as your land. Um, and let's see, what do we got going on here? Vanguard Infantry as your not. And then, ooh, we have another rare land, Energy Conversion Lab. And so I guess if this is foiled, uh, this is actually worth a lot. And it's kind of a little bit, a little bit rarer of a base. So that might be the actual decent pull from this one. Uh, because I've heard people say that they really want that base. But again, as someone who has not deck built yet... Uh, I don't really know if that really means something or again, like people are buying like Vader's and Boba's in, in triplicate because I think you can like stack up to three in a deck, but you can't have more than one in the field. You're my only hope. And then again, a non-rare foil. So at least I've got the sorting down a little bit better right now, but you can start to see that these cards and these decks are uh, piles are building up over here. So that's going to be the real trick is, you know, again, what do you do with this? I saw people selling sets of fully complete commons and uncommons online for $55.
So is that kind of cool? Yeah, I mean, you, you can just go and, and spend half of what I did and get all the cards you want for a, a kick butt deck. We have the U-Wing reinforcement. We got that as a foil. Force throw though. Ooh, look at that. That's foiled. That's a foiled rare right there. That's a foiled legendary. So uh, force throw. So that one might be one of the best cards I've pulled from that one. Now with a Boba Fett in this deck or in this box, that's probably already, already the best one that I've pulled. And those cards are sliding and that's really annoying that they're sliding already at this point. So we'll pull this pile and kind of adjust it over here. You can't see it. It's just sitting below off camera. You know, were you like me though, when you were pulling cards as a kid, like you'd pull like randomly from like the bottom of the box, not necessarily the top of the box. And you just kind of do it that way. And I kind of feel like just doing it this way as an adult is kind of anticlimactic. Uh, so we have Greedo here again. I don't think Greedo is he actually, I can't even tell what rarity he is. Uh, it's Greedo. So we'll just put him over there, but redemption is the rare in this pack. So we're getting through these. I mean, we still probably have a good 18 or so left in this box. But so far, showcases, Thrawns, any of those guys we're blanking out on. Oh, there's a Thrawn. Look at that. That guy. Ooh, he's cool. Just when I mentioned him. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that down at the bottom, too. I like that. His just seems bigger. Are there all these others the same? Yeah. Again, that would be the coolest one, showcase card-wise, that I would love to pull. But um, Or extended art edition, Underworld. Uh, Bib Fortuna, a couple other Emperor Royals guards. So we got another Emperor Royals guard and Snapshot Reflexes. So again, looking at Snapshot, that is not a rare. So now we have two Emperor's Royal guard at least. Oh, well, we got a Thrawn. So we have at least duplicates of all the leaders. So I can make like four crappy decks right now. Um, Leia Organa. So we got another Leia here. And let's see what else we got here. Heroic Sacrifice, rare, and Wampa, not rare. Again, sort of uh, sucking up here as we're getting towards the end, and I'm just putting garbage on the pile of the floor. So, and like, I kind of want to go like, oh, showcase. Nope, just kidding. Jin Urso, and other side of your base here. So, shields. Do all of these have double sides? Yeah, they all do. Uh, I just realized that. I don't know why I just realized that. So what do we got here? Ooh, Disabling Fang Fighter. Just kidding. Looks cool, but crappy card. For the cause I believe in, we already got that. So I'm really, really getting bad pulls here. This is probably the worst uh, unboxing you're ever going to see in terms of what people are getting, right? Because you're not seeing rares. You're not seeing uh, cool legendaries. You're seeing all of the crap that you don't want. So there's a Luke Skywalker. And there's a Foil Yoda. And yeah, Yoda, just kidding. That is, that is the best pack I've pulled right there. Those are both rares. Oh, sorry, those are both legendaries. So uh, we have both of these right now. Finally, in a good pack, we have Jedi Foil Yoda and Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. So um, that's kind of cool. And it compares to this one. Uh, you can kind of see the differences there between the Luke Skywalkers. And that's why people want the Vaders because the Vaders are also similarly different in that sense. So um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Well, there we go. I finally got a good pack. I got Yoda and Luke and a foil one at that for Yoda. Uh, that might, I mean, that might sell on the secondary market. I don't know. Again, like I haven't looked at the prices. So, uh, for me to guess at this point is probably going to be like 20 bucks, right? Like you don't know what you're talking about, Chris. And I, that Boba Fett might sell for like 20 or 30 and the Yoda might sell. And so nothing that's going to like pay for itself though. Right? Like I was talking about at the beginning. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Let's see. I, I like this. This is just a cool card as a non, well, great card. Saw Guerrera. Oh, great. That's that's my rare in that one. And Metal Ceremony. So, well, Saw Guerrera, I guess. I guess if you like Saw Guerrera. Again, like, why? Why Why would you make him a rare? He's that same rarity, same rarity as Han Solo. Like, no. No, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. None. Rare base again. So, I've gotten three rare bases so far. Um, that's kind of nice. And then the Snow Speeder. Crappy Snow Speeder that's foiled. So, uh, take that for what you will as a whole. So let's move this pile back here. I'm reaching too far every time. So reorganize here like three quarters of the way through the video, even though I don't need to. So again, we're getting to the halfway through this box and we really only have that one pack to speak of that was actually decent, right? We don't have the foil boba. We don't have the anything like that. And oh, what's this? Oh, now we have foiled Royal Guard. So now we're rolling in the Royal Guards. But that was the that was the rare foil. That was the foil, not the rare. So Spark of Rebellion is the rare in this one. Well, I mean, that's good. And I got two rares in that pack. And that's right. That's why the foil can be anything in case that wasn't clear. 
Uh, the foil can be anything. The rare is either a rare or a legendary, and then you get whatever else to go along with it. So that's why we can kind of skip through these. Vanguard Ace. Lando, we get another Lando. Precision Fire, which isn't that good either. So skip that one. We're down to about 10 packs right now. So if you're tuned in still, this is going horribly. And maybe we should just like fast forward all of this, right? So let's see. We'll go through this. Uh, Bode Rook. So that's a rare. And ooh, Legendary Aggression. Ooh, that's a foil aggression. That one might be worth something too as a legendary foil. So choose any two in any order. So that's that's a good card though. And so that's why people want it and it's foiled. So that's, I mean, that's two packs that are good. The Luke, the Luke Yoda and the aggression right there. So, I mean, not a total complete and utter bust. That's the problem if you don't buy a case though, right? Like if you buy a case, you're almost, almost guaranteed a showcase card. In these ones, you're really not though. So Obi-Wan, again, what's the Obi-Wan rarity? Rare, not legendary. Why would, you, why would you make Obi-Wan legendary, right? That makes no sense. I, I like all the TIE Fighter stuff, though, as a side note. The TIE Fighters are really cool. They're underrepresented. They kind of get uh, the shaft in the first trilogy. And so to see more of them is just kind of, well, to see them actually getting the attention. That base deck is huge, by the way. Command. Okay, choose two. That's the other side. That must be more the light side version of aggression that we just got. And Rallying Cry, which actually looks like it's a Legendary too. Is it really a Legendary? Oh, wow. I think I have two of those now. And that one's foiled. So, oh, you know, I guess I'm going to go on TCG Player after this and kind of look at some of those prices. Because some of those, like, I'd rather just make some money back than keep one of those cards for, like, posterity's sake. Because none of these are terribly appealing um, except for that. So, oh, whoa. Han Solo. That's the first Han Solo leader card that we have seen in almost two boxes. Holy cow. So I didn't even realize he was a leader. And that's a rare. I didn't even, you know what? I didn't, truth be told, I didn't even look at any of these leader card rarities. So Han Solo's a rare. Um, who else is a rare? Uh, let's see. Uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn is a rare. And you can just skim down at the bottom here. Cassian Andor is a rare. Are there any not rare? Oh, there's another Cassian. Uh, Iden is a rare. Grand Inquisitors are rare, but there's no legendary leaders. So those are the rares and the, the ones you can do that. Oh, well, I just accidentally did it here, but it's the ties that binds all things. The ties that bind all things. Uh, and then Admiral Ozzel. Oh, so he's a legendary too. I got a legendary foil and a rare in that one. So now I'm getting a couple of decent packs of, of double. Still nothing like tremendous, nothing super big. And we're getting down to the last half dozen here. So... Ah, uh, you know, again, I told you this is going to be crappy, lackluster, and uh, disappointing. Sort of like we were just watching the Tottenham game this afternoon with my kids. And, you know, again, like, I was really sure they were going to lose. And they actually somehow, surprisingly, pulled it out at the very end here um, to make it worthwhile. So, uh, like Chimera, Thrawn's capital ship, again, is a rare, and then a non-rare foil there. So, we get another Star Destroyer. And so, I mean, I'm getting a fair number of the dark side things, but again, that's a yellow. You saw most of the other starter stories were green. So again, color matching is the more important aspect of this game rather than um, necessarily anything else. we got a Krennic, which isn't a rare. Uh, we got another base that's not a rare. Skip through the back. We have plenty of these Guardian of the Wills, whatever those things are. And then what do we got going on here? We have General Krell. Okay, that's a rare. And then Relentless as a foil, another rare. So... Two rares, rare foil. That's, I mean, good, getting a rare foil. But again, like, none of those are going to sell for, like, Godzooks amounts. None of those are going to pay me back in terms of that. I haven't gotten a Falcon. I know Falcon's in here. Oh, there's another Boba. But Boba's not rare. Boba's not rare, surprisingly. So don't need to worry about him. K2SO is my rare here. And Death Trooper. Well, we know Death Trooper's not there. And so K2SO, I've got two, two K2SOs. Like, ooh, great. So we have three packs left, folks. This is anticlimactic. This is not going to be a Tottenham Spurs coming from behind at the end of the game to surprise people and get points at the end. So uh, I hate to spoil it for you, but um, I just, I, I told you at the beginning, this isn't going to be good. Full art wing leader there. Uh, Gideon Hask, whoever the frick that is. And then we have another non-rare uh, foil. So again, like I am going to have not very good decks. Not very good decks. I'm going to have to go back and buy stuff online separately to actually make a meta deck, I think. So... Although I haven't looked at what are the other cards you need from the legendary or rare side of things. So I don't really know. There's a Palpatine. Palpatine's a rare. 
Palpatine's a rare. I didn't know Palpatine. I thought I had him already. Maybe he's in the other stack. Maybe he got lost somewhere. Um, Seventh Sister, rare. Oh, I thought that was the Millennium Falcon. Did you get excited? I got excited. But I saw the Millennium Falcon card, and it points towards you, not away from you. So I was really excited there for a half second, and then very much disappointed. That would have been a decent way to go out, though, as the last, second to last penultimate pack here. But this is the last pack, and this is the last disappointment that we can have today. So let's see. Uh, you know, obviously, we didn't get a showcase card. We end with two Palpatines in a row. So just what we need, like crappy, crappy Palpatines. And then Count Dooku and a Gladiator Star Destroyer. So Gladiator is a not rare, and then we get a Dooku to end it, which again is another rare, not a legendary. So um, that was kind of, that was horrible. That was actually horrible, horrible pulls. Uh, if you want to see me humiliate myself on camera again, I guess we can do that. But that begs the question now, Im, how much am I going to deck build? And what am I going to utilize these for? Because again, I don't even know if you can see this on the side of the camera here. This is the pile of cards. Um, common wise and uncommon wise that we've got going on here and so this is a lot of cards a lot of duplicates and probably not a ton of stuff that's also going to get used once you start deck building so that is the three common uncommon cards actually sorry four so if we include some of these actually some of these are the foils and the bases and the leaders that i didn't unstack with the other ones but then here are the rares legendaries here are the foils that are not rares so i mean look look at all these foils that i got that aren't rares or legendaries folks comparatively to the ones that are like that's half that's i don't think that's that great uh these are the bases and these are the leaders and we kind of talked about the leaders already so there you go humbling humiliating and all in one it's defeating at the same time but we'll see you know I'm, I'm gonna have fun with it hopefully i'm hoping my kids are gonna play into it and there are some good cards to just use from deck building when I, they get the two-player uh starter kit so there you go shame me i felt really bad you know, and that's, and that's, you know, I, I feel really bad right now, actually, truth be told, because I was really hoping to luck out and get one of those showcase cards. Like, but again, like I just have horrible luck. I just have horrible, horrible luck in these things. And I just don't know how to get past that. At the same time, I think that's why I hesitated and I was so nervous opening these in the first place, right? Like when they're not open, when they're not open sitting on there, they can be anything. They can be anything. You could have all of your wishes and desires in them. And then once you open them, um, you just kind of end up like this. And so you don't get your Bobas, you don't get your Grand Admiral Thrawns. Uh, I didn't get any Vaders. So, uh, yeah, kind of sucks at the same time. But we'll see. Maybe I'll just piecemeal them. Maybe I'll have a couple of these. Maybe a couple of these are worth more than I think. So maybe I'll be surprised by that. Sell them and recoup some of my money. And I don't know. I can't obviously do the infinite mode. That was a big bust from that side of things. But we'll see. I'll go from there. Or, you know, I'll just cash out after this one and never get another set collection of these uh, Star Wars Unlimited again. So we'll see. I don't know. I can see myself going either way. Either way, stay classy though. Have a great freaking day. Better than mine, hopefully. There is an absolutely huge, massive pile of wrappers on the floor next to me because all I did the whole video was just dump them down here. Um, yeah, like that's what I'm going to be doing right now is like cleaning up and like the other thing I, I probably should have done is I probably shouldn't have done this on camera, to be frank. You know, because my kids... My kids probably would have gotten more enjoyment out of doing this with me than I did. And I don't think I'd be feeling as bad if I had done it with my kids in the first place. So maybe that's the other lesson I learned here is I just say screw it for the camera and I open this for my kids. And then I just show you like with a small video snippet of the ones I got and the cool stuff. And so you don't get to see because I mean, that's the other problem with social media, right? Like you don't see the hundreds of people that pulled just like I do. You see the, you know, dozen or so that go across your Facebook or whatever feed that are like, look what I pulled. Look what I pulled. Hey, I pulled one pack out of, you know, a booster box. And this is what I got. I got one pack at the game night that I won for losing the tournament. And I pulled the $350 showcase card. Right. And to be clear, like, I don't even know what I'd do if I got a showcase card. I think I would probably sell it just to recoup costs, not even to keep it as a memento. So I don't know. Don't be me, right? That's what all these unboxing videos are turning into. Regrets. <laughs> After filming this, I actually did some research and, you know, I actually have some halfway decent cards here as a whole. Uh, I kind of went through them and I said, okay, price them out. You know, did I really do as bad as I thought? This as aggression here, as well as a few of these others, the Emperor Palpatine is, is okay. The black one, which I have a foil version, I believe, I believe bleh, as well as the, we'll get to it here, the Boba Fett, the Relentless there as a foil. 
the Devastator, we'll get to it down here in a second. We get to the blue ones here. The Avenger, which more importantly, again, Luke Skywalker, uh, Obi-Wan, the Boba Fett as well. I'm almost at break even. I'm probably almost at break even. This Han Solo hyperspace foil here is actually probably the most valuable card I pulled. I see very few of those on the secondary market. So that's probably the best one because it's both of those combined. So I don't really feel as bad now going forward. You know, again, another Han Solo, so I'll sell the other one. Uh, Boa Fett, not sure if I'm going to use him. But again, uh, not as good as I was hoping for, obviously. Again, Fett's fire spray there. So if I sold a lot of these legendaries, I could probably come pretty close to breaking even on the price of the two boxes. So, you know, I actually, actually have a halfway decent uh, green deck here. I net decked a little bit and I made a deck that was almost one of these uh, minor aggression decks that someone had posted online. Oh, there's my red three foil, uh, you know, but... Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of relatively happy with the deck that I was able to pull together. I had almost all of the uncommons and commons I needed. I had almost all of the rares because it really wasn't a deck that did a lot of rares or legendaries. And I get to use the one super good uh, base that I got, the Energy Conversion Lab. So all in all, eh, you know what? Am I going to buy any more boxes? Probably not. Am I going to buy any more boxes of Spark of Rebellion? That is. No, probably not. Am I going to buy any more of the next expansion, which has just been announced, uh, Shadows of the Galaxy, I believe, in July? The Dave Chappelle meme, right? Got any more of that Star Wars Unlimited? See you around.